The path to the volcano lies at the base of the Andes Mountains. The track is thick with mud and deep in the ash, which has disrupted air travel and ruined a rainforest. So we've been walking now for a little over two hours up a, at times, pretty steep muddy track, and uh, we're not even a third of the way yet. <laughs> Nearing the top, the temperature drops to well below freezing and the volcano is the only sound you can hear. It should be a view of untouched snow and pristine peaks, but instead, Puyawe has marked the mountains and everything in it. For the last few hours while we've been walking along, it feels like we're getting rained on and it looks like it as well, but what you can see there is ash coming from the volcano and it's coated everything. It's about an inch thick across the snow. It's right on the trees. And that ash, well, it goes as far as you can see. Satellite images show it sweeping across the border into Argentina and towards Australia. But air travel is far from the thoughts of those who live here. He's a little bit worried about the, the animals that he have over there because uh, with all the ash falling in the grass, uh, they cannot eat it. So finally they will die. Our guide is the third generation of his family to live on the mountain. He's very worried about the situation because if the volcano doesn't stop, I, everyone here, they will have to leave. A deep rumble, raining volcanic rocks and clouds of sulphur and ash tells us we're close enough. Well, there she is, still bubbling and roaring away and throwing all that ash high into the atmosphere. In fact, that sound that you can hear been taunting us the entire way. And the Puyawe volcano hasn't been active in almost 60 years, but now, as you can see, it's making up for it. The region remains on red alert. There were two tremors on the day we climbed, and if a blockage in the volcano blows, thousands of people will have to abandon their homes and travel disruptions could become permanent. We're just on the walk out now. We're rushing to beat the light. We've been going for about seven hours, but we heard two enormous explosions and the result well you can see it clear as day right up there this volcano is not done yet denim hitchcock nine news southern chile